this poem is about love and sort of, I guess, the failure to be able to comprehend it really. That point where you just realize you have to sort of let go and surrender yourself to something bigger than either of you. So even utter your greatness is blasphemy. Now I'm a poet. Cursed to dance and trance by the tragedy of your name. Poised on my tongue like cyanide poison, my being aborted by your beneficence. I'm a drop describing Poseidon. A pale storm in the process of failure. If my thunder opens deaf ears, but your light wakes the dead. My rains nourish wide fields. Your rain is in the domain above the head, but below the mind like comprehending a broken heart. Habibi, you broke a poet and made my blood into ointment for the voiceless, but they speak less now than ever from bearing witness to your glory. And so it seems my imagination is damnation. My imitation is childlike. My irritation is sure sign that I might be further from truth than fountains of youth and yellow brick roads. You are a marvelous wizard. I'm like a witch in red bottoms. You are like home and I am a horcrux broken, a perversion of your virgin, the pure and righteous, ignited in the flames of existence and leaving behind nothing but embers in an envelope. My poems are a letter to the mortal world, war-torn and forlorn. My tongue is like the first battlefield in a cold war. There is nothing here but mourning, from morning till night, from night till dawn, all of it longing, from masjid to morgue, from my lips to yours. Let this labor be a kiss on the face of the unfathomable. A futile attempt to render the present a present to you who suffuse every moment and transcend every second. This poem is like Bush back in office. A tragedy is fitting to describe it. A catastrophe couldn't capture the horror I feel facing what's real. The simple fact that I could never give back a fraction of figment or fashion of phantom that could hold the weight of your name. Your claim is higher than that of any empire or kingdom. I am dumbstruck before you, beloved. How you love me is not a question I can even begin to ask for fear that the answer would render me speechless, never again to sing praise to your name, though I know in my heart of hearts to even utter your greatness is blasphemy. And I'm a poet, cursed to dance and trance by the tragedy of your name. As it sits on my tongue like rum on the tongue of the drunk, it is the prelude to my annihilation. I'm a shadow describing the night sky. I'm a pebble describing the shoreline. I'm Geppetto, cobbling Pinocchio, or Pocahontas, pondering the traveler where the white folk roam. I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. You put sinew to tissue and made man from dust. I put ink to pen and paint to brush, but can never begin to touch what creation is. I am an atheist before the face of God. I am a holocaust, horrifying. No wretches as I try to bless the blessed by bearing the burden of broken jaw bones, brutishly trying to bring bold balance to the split between you and I. I deny. El Shaddai, I am like the rich man before the needle's eye, camel's back laid flat and bare, failing to make myself fitting to pass into your embrace. And I cannot even see why I should try to describe sight to the blind, but still I rise and still I try to even utter your greatness. But all I birth is blasphemy. And I'm a poet, cursed to dance and trance by the tragedy of trying to name your Tao, of trying to bring Brahmin to Brahmin breaching the caste. Cast me in the darkness and even hum, humming a single syllable of your name would bring rains of light and showers of glory into my gory soul. I am Bhikkhu before Buddha under the Bodhi. I am Sufi before Asamad, the eternal and unborn. I am Christian before empty tomb, Judas before his savior's bones. I am at a loss, beloved. How does one follow the voice of the unheard? For before word there was tongue, before tongue there was mind, before mind there was matter, and before matter there was the matter of fact, the plain and evident, the propagation, the eminence, the solitude of soul, so morose and majestic, so tantric and taxing. My practice is to find the first before order and what comes after the end. Evidently I am black in soul, between black and bold, meek and mild. I sit as a child before my father's shoes, an apprentice in the war room of a wizard, cauldrons and concoctions. Potions and tonics stand before me like ghost kings and prophetic souls. It seems like there is a whole world left unfathomed by me. A further shore unexplored, on it an oasis without shore. Sinking deeper and deeper, I find no bottom. Forgotten like the beauty of autumn, I audit morality, mortality. I migrate across astral planes, searching for the name before word, the sight before sound, the intention before motion, and the motive deep down in the hearts of men. I descend again into the murky black waters, assured I had the right to find my author. But pen, ink never finds its way back to the quill. Embers never find their way back to the match. So I permeate in print, 
I simmer and crack late in my patience, wherein thin I begin the process of contemplation, the creation of clarity. It is out of charity you allow me to seek your face.